Hi, Travis with Splunk here. In this video, I want to go over customizing that navigation menu that could be in your app or an app that you've downloaded to make it your own. So first, let's go into the search and reporting and show you what I'm talking about if you've never used Splunk before. So at the top here, we can see search, analytics, data sets, reports, alerts, and dashboards. This is all part of that default navigation menu that Splunk has provided. And if I click on dashboards, it will bring you to another page that will show you the dashboards that you have access to. You know, you can filter out if you only want to look inside of this app, if you want to look at all, or if by default it goes to yours. And I can even put in a keyword here and you know find uh, dashboards that I've built. But this isn't how I like to organize my dashboards. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's jump over to apps and go into this OpenSense app that I've created for my home lab and all the firewall OpenSense related dashboards that I've built. So here you can see I'm using, you know, the default Splunk links here, but then I have two other ones, my dashboards and uncategorized. If I click on my dashboards, instead of going to a new page, I'm presented with a drop down menu and I can click on firewall and now it will show me dashboards that match a keyword of firewall. Same will be for OpenVPN, OpenSense, and even Suricata. And I'll show you in the XML or how to edit all of this to you know produce the same results. And before I go any further, let's look at the uncategorized you can call it unclassified, whatever you want. I just call it uncategorized because I haven't categorized the dashboards or searches. So I can do the same thing with the reports. I haven't done it in this one, um, but you can do the same thing with searches. So if I click on the uncategorized dashboards, we'll scroll through here and see uh, dashboards that are not in a menu. However, when I say that, there is a, it, it, since I am doing a dynamic list, and doing a keyword match, the dashboards that are underneath my dashboard may still show up here, and it's in the documentation. But what I'm gonna do for this video is actually put these three NetFlow dashboards under my dashboards. All right, so like I always do, let's go and show you how to find more information on how to do this. So go to your favorite search engine type in Splunk navigation menu. That's one way. Um, but yeah, one of the first links that come up is add navigation documentation Splunk developer program. And if you've never been to dev.splunk.com, there's a lot of good resources here to help you when you are building you know, your own app and other things as well. Uh, we are looking at how to add navigation to an app and this could be for a cloud platform or Splunk Enterprise. And things like you know, app icon background color or dynamic list or external links. There's a lot of different things that we can do in here. It gives you examples, even shows you the, you know, the XML of what you'll have to enter when I go and show you where to you know, edit this dash, uh, the default menu. And then, as I was mentioned earlier, when I was generating a dynamic list, you know, it says right here we go. You know, right here is where I was talking about with the all of the unclassified dashboards and reports using source unclassified. It will still display in your drop down list unless you do a you know view name and you're specifying or save name the report or dashboard. So let's go back to the Splunk environment. I am in that OpenSense app, and this is where I want to add the NetFlow uh, dashboards. So I'm going to go up to Settings, User Interface, and then I'm going to go into Navigation Menus. And here you can see, you know, I'm in, you know visible in this app, but the one I want is the OpenSense OpenSense. Uh, default. So I'm going to click on that. So find your app and click on the default. And then here, this is the portion for the, the Splunk default. 
Uh, you can even specify what is uh, default when it opens up with this uh, default equals true. And you know that's all in that uh, documentation I was talking about just a few seconds ago. Here's a collection label for my dashboards. And then underneath that, I set another collection label for firewall, open VPN, open sense, and Suricata. And then I say view, because these are you know views, you know, the dashboards, source equals all, but match on a keyword. So I'm just gonna copy collection to collection. Enter. I'm going to just clean this up a little bit. I'm going to put the you know my label name NetFlow. You know name it whatever you want, and then I'm going to do my keyword NetFlow. Uh, just to show you, here's how I did the uncategorized. You can call it unclassified, whatever you want. You can put stuff there. Um, yeah, uncategorized dashboards, and there's that view. And then for the reports saved, and then source unclassified and source unclassified for the view there. All right. Now we're going to click save. And once that's done, we're going to go back to the app, open sense, and click on my dashboards. And there we go. There is the NetFlow and the three dashboards I wanted here. And if I click on one, it takes me to that dashboard. So let me jump over to another app that I've built called Audit here. And this will show off that you can you know, hard code what dashboards. So these are dashboards I have hard coded to say, you know, this isn't a dynamic list. And then searches, I have a, you know, any search that begins with the word audit will find its way here. And then I had the uncategorized section as well. So what I'll do is I'm going to go into settings, user interface, and show you how I, I put that navigation menu together. We're going to click navigation menu. There we go. And then I'm going to find my app audit. Then go over to default, not this dot underscore and click on that and then here you can see you know how I specified the collection label dashboards and view name to where these views will always show up and in whatever order that you put it in here so if I wanted this when sysmon view to be at the top you know I would have to move it up there and then here is where the collection label searches and then I have another collection label underneath of that for audit. And then I match audit and then unclassified for the saved searches here. Hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. And happy spelunking.